Join a nearly three-year playing stint at Bradford City, Wells baked 53 goals in 76 appearances. It was an impressive strike rate that caught the attention of Huddersfield manager and former Manchester United striker Mark Robbins. Yeah, he's a natural goal scorer, he's a, he's a, he is a goal scorer. I mean, you look at the way that he moves, um, he always tries to sniff out a, a, an opportunity or a chance and, and obviously he's, he's aware of um, the, 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 how the game's building up and, and where the ball's likely to go and his anticipation is very good as well, which is a must for a, for a, for a goal scorer. He's, he's quick. He's, he's certainly quick. He's sharp. He, he's, um, his finishing is very good. You know, he seems to move his feet quickly. He, he picks the right finish um, more often than not. And um, he's good to work with. He's a, he's, a, he's a real good personality to have around the place because he's, you know, he, he, he mixes in. He works hard. He thinks about his game a lot. And we've just been sat with him now. He's had a, he's had a training session this morning where he's, he's dipped below his standard, mm -hmm. and uh, and he's thinking about it and, and, and as to why. And I would uh, I would wager that tomorrow will be different again. But um, he definitely thinks about his game. You know, he's probably a little bit hard on himself. And um, uh, but then he, he'll, on the other side of it, he'll quickly put that behind him and get on with the uh, what, what needs to be done. I think also he recognises the partner that he plays with and he will adapt over a period of time to the partner that he plays with, as he did with James Hansen at Bradford City. He's got to do that with the players that we have here, with James Vaughan, with Martin Patterson, with Danny Ward, and, uh, John Stead. You know, so we've, we've got a, a number of other players and other strikers that he's got to work to keep out of the side. Um, although I would anticipate that, that over over that period of time he'll be a real fan's favourite and he'll be a, he'll, he'll be a top player for us. He just needs to enjoy his football and, and, and enjoy working hard. I think, you know, as I've said, that he's got all the attributes that you need to make a success um, in the game over here, and he's got, you know, he's got the uh, the environment and the, uh, the, the the team to do it with. You know, he's going to get opportunities here, and um, you know, I think he'll I think he'll thrive. I think he's just getting to know what the league's all about. Um, although, whilst he's learning that. There's no doubt about it, he can still score goals, so it's an ideal environment for him and it's, it's an ideal place uh, for him, but it's also, he's an also an ideal player for us, us to have to, to help us develop as well. Naturally, there's always room for improvement, Robin stressed. Sometimes the play has got to be linked quickly and uh, you know he likes to take his time on that at the moment. You might get a little bit more time um, the lower down the pyramid, but as you get as you get up the, the pyramid, it changes, the game changes and the quality changes and obviously gets higher. He's got the quality to, to play, he's got the quality to, um, like I say, to, to deliver the goods and to score goals and his movement's good. I think probably link up, link up play and, um, and, and his strength will, will improve over, uh, over the course of the next, next sort of 12 months, 6 to 12 months. Even though Huddersfield has invested a lot in Wales, it doesn't guarantee the player time on the pitch. He's got some serious competition up front, I think, with James Vaughan in there and, and, and certainly away from home where we've not been picking too many points up, we may need to change the way we play. So he's got to um, he's got to be ready for that and accept that and try and work his way into a into a side that plays away from home that, that, that also picks points up. So, you know, from my perspective, I want to go and play football and play the right way. Um, but we also need to pick points up and, um, you know, we are... Uh, we're into the portion of the season, as I've said, where you know every point counts at any stage. But now it's it's, uh, it's paramount that we pick points up. According to Robbins, Wells has settled in nicely at his new club. Uh, he's fine. He's he's been in. He, he's um, he's a bubbly character anyway. He's got belief in his, his ability. He's um, he's got a, a good personality. I think he could, he's come in and he's settled in really well. I think I think the goals help. You know, he comes in with like it's like we've spoken about before about his. Um, He's trying the transfer fee that we paid for him. He doesn't bother him. He really doesn't bother him. He comes in and he, he just goes about his job. Um, I just want him to be to, to, to be relaxed and, and to come in and enjoy his football, but to work hard as well because we need to be um, we need to be really on our game to get results in this division. You know, we've only just come up last season and, and, and stayed in the division by the skin of our teeth on the last day. Uh, this season's different. Um, we've cut costs and we've brought new players in alongside that and um, you know we, we've got to make sense of our academy and, and some of the younger players are coming through as well so you know I think uh, over the last sort of six to eight weeks we've had uh, a number of young players in 
in the side where we've had some of the what you'd call probably regulars and, and, and um, better known starters in, in, in the team. They've been out of the team for, with, with injuries and, and illness and whatever. Um, but they're ready to come back in now and, and, and help us with the you know with the running because we're in a different part of the season now where in January over here things change the game changes everybody's um, uh, either desperate to pick up points for, for, for a reason to get them away from the bottom or to try and get get near the playoffs or get up into the uh, into the Premier League so things change you know the mentality changes and, and we're going to change and adapt with that uh, as well. Robbins, who also had a brief stint with Manchester City, says Wiles is a player that meets the club's criteria and hopes both parties will benefit during his spell with Huddersfield. As a club we, um, we always try and uh, bring in players who are going to um, make us better as a team first and foremost but also have a value and, and, and are an asset uh, on the field. Uh, and, and try and help them progress to be the best that they can be and best that they can become and hopefully along the way they can help us achieve our objectives and, um, and we can help them achieve their objectives as well and, and, and Naki uh, was, was certainly a player that fits, uh, fit, fit the criteria for us. I think um, the first thing needs to be said is that he, he comes and there's a, there's a price tag around his, uh, uh, around his neck uh, that he, he can cope with. You know that's that's the first thing. He's a good finisher, um, and he's stepped up from a, from the lower levels in, in English football. But um, he's managed to score goals along the way, and he's helped Bradford get a promotion last season, and also uh, qualify uh, for a bottom tier club to qualify for a, a major final is uh, is unheard of, really. So he's scored some good goals along the way against some good teams, and. Um, you know, he started off this season in a similar vein. He was scoring goals at the level above, and um, and he came in here, and he hit the ground running and scored two in his first two games. One against uh, Millwall, and the and the second one uh, was against one of the top teams in the country or in this division, in QPR. So, and he played well. I think I think you know, for, for me, he's got um, he's capable of more, and he needs to learn more. But. Um, uh, like I say, the, the main thing is the capability. He's got the capability to, to to deliver on the field. Um, you know, in terms of what he learns and, and, and his mental capacity to learn, uh, as well as his uh, his ability. Robbins revealed that Wells had been on his radar long before the player actually signed a four-year contract at Huddersfield. Um, we've been looking at him since I came in here. Obviously, I was aware of him before I came in here and watched him a fair bit when I was at my previous club, when I was at Coventry. Um, uh, so I knew of him then and watched him uh, a fair bit. And then when I came in uh, here to Huddersfield last February, um, you know, we'd, we'd been watching him for a while and he was on the club's radar then and, and we just followed him. And, and, uh, and obviously it came to the conclusion it has done and, and you know, he's, he's performed sufficiently well to give us the confidence to go and, and spend the sort of money we have done um, on Nicky. And, 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 you know, he's a good addition. He's a really, really good addition for us. And um, like I say, it may be that he takes a little bit more time to settle in um, to the level, um, but he's more than capable of doing so. Robbins was thrilled to see Wells score on his debut, a feat he says helped lighten the burden of expectations the player was carrying after signing for Huddersfield the previous day for a record sum. My reaction was uh, um, absolute, one of absolute delight because he, you know, he's coming, like I say, with, with the expectation I suppose, weight of expectation on his shoulder and he was sat on the bench for a while. He had a chance to look at the game and how the game was developing and where he could make an impact when he came on and he made the impact that, uh, that everybody hoped that he'd make and I was delighted for him because um, it just helps you settle down as a, as a striker coming to a new club. If you score early on in your career there then it makes you feel part of the furniture again quickly. Uh, and I was delighted that he'd done that but not only that, the, the away game at QPR where he uh, he scored the header, uh, you know, the one, or, one or two other chances that if, if they'd have fallen to him, um, you know, the, the outcome would have been maybe different. Last week against Leeds, he's, um, he's, he's had one or two chances, but he's creating a load of opportunities for himself. Last week he didn't take one of them, but uh, on any other day, that he, I would have guaranteed that he would have had a hat-trick. So he's very, very close to being a regular, a regular finisher and a regular goal scorer in, in, this, uh, in this team. So, you know, we'll look forward to that and keep working with him to, uh, to make sure that he achieves that. With one Bermudian now among the ranks, I could not help but ask Robbins, is there any possibility for others to be recruited as well? We've we certainly got a link there because I know Sean Gota 
you know, I know known him for from a long time ago. He's moved back to the UK now, and um, but he's still got links over in Bermuda, obviously. Um, Sean shows an interest and will show an interest in, in Nicky's development and, and he'll come and watch him play. I think that's just an, uh, a natural consequence of coming from the same region and um, you know he, he's already been on the phone and asked if he can come and watch training and, and watch him in, in, when he's settled in. Um, so Sean will be coming in maybe to have a look and, and to have a catch up and a talk. Um, maybe we'll look at players from, from that region through third parties like Sean and maybe Nicky if he goes back in the summer and, and, and you know you, you never know I mean you were always looking for good players we're always looking for, for, for players that are going to help us progress and if they can help us progress we may, may be able to help them uh, progress as well and you know there's some good players over in Bermuda there's no doubt about that and even um, even though really we've had two two in the country that have played um, at, the, at, the, at this level certainly and Sean obviously at top level later on in his career um, you know, we'll look to bring any any good quality player in from from, from anywhere. Really, there's always a, a potential for anything. You know, and if there's if there's a, if the, there are players there, um, you know, that we could maybe have a look at, then we'd be open to looking. And, and, and obviously, they've got to fit into a category. Cause we've got to make sure that they're uh, they're eligible to to come and work in this country because we have strict rules, and we've got to make sure that they're eligible to do so. You know, so there's a, there's, a, there's a bit of a stumbling block there. But having said that, you know, sometimes we can get over that, and they can they can come in, and we can have a look at them, and uh, and, and take it from there. But I, you know, I wouldn't rule anything out at all. It worked out quite well because when I did sign for Bradford, they considered to waive the fee. Um, I wouldn't rule anything out. I think that you know we've got a long way to go. You know we're only just starting out on a pathway.